Hear, O our God, for we are despised. Turn back their taunt on their own heads, and give them up to be plundered in a land where they are captives. Do not cover their guilt, and let not their sin be blotted out from your sight, for they have provoked you to anger in the presence of the builders. So we built the wall, and all the wall was joined together to half its height, for the people had a mind to work. But when Sanballat and Tobiah and the Arabs and the Ammonites and the Ashdodites heard that the repairing of the walls of Jerusalem was going forward, and that the breaches were beginning to be closed, they were very angry, and they all plotted together to come and fight against Jerusalem, and to cause confusion in it. And we prayed to our God, and set a guard as a protection against them, day and night. Hear, O our God, for we are despised. Turn their taunt back on their own heads, and give them over as plunder in a land of captivity. Do not cover their guilt, and do not let their sin be blotted out from your sight, for they have hurled insults in the face of the builders. So we rebuilt the wall, and all the wall was joined together to half its height, for the people had a mind to work. But when Sanballat and Tobiah and the Arabs and the Ammonites and the Ashdodites heard that the repairing of the walls of Jerusalem was going forward, and the gaps were beginning to be closed, they were very angry, and all plotted together to come and fight against Jerusalem, and to cause confusion in it. So we prayed to our God, and set a guide as a protection against them, day and night. Hear us, our God, for we are despised, Turn their insults back on their own heads. Give them over as plunder in a land of captivity. Do not cover up their guilt or blot out their sins from your sight, for they have thrown insults in the face of the builders. So we rebuilt the wall till all of it reached half its height, for the people worked with all their heart. But when Sanballat, Tobiah, the Arabs, the Ammonites, and the people of Ashdod heard that the repairs to Jerusalem's walls had gone ahead, and that the gaps were being closed, they were very angry. They all plotted together to come and fight against Jerusalem, and stir up trouble against it. But we prayed to our God and posted a guard day and night to meet this threat. Then I prayed, Hear us, our God, for we are being mocked. May their scoffing fall back on their own heads, and may they themselves become captives in a foreign land. Do not ignore their guilt, do not blot out their sins, for they have provoked you to anger, here in front of the builders. At last the wall was completed to half its height around the entire city, for the people had worked with enthusiasm. But when Sanballat and Tobiah and the Arabs, Ammonites and Ashdodites heard that the work was going ahead, and that the gaps in the wall of Jerusalem were being repaired, they were furious. They all made plans to come and fight against Jerusalem, and throw us into confusion. But we prayed to our God, and guarded the city day and night, to protect ourselves. Nehemiah prayed, O oh, listen to us, dear God, we're so despised, boomerang their ridicule on their heads, have their enemies cart them off as war trophies to a land of no return, don't forgive their iniquity, don't wipe away their sin, they've insulted the builders. We kept at it, repairing and building the wall. The whole wall was soon joined together, and halfway to its intended height, because the people had a heart for the work. When Sanballat, Tobiah, the Arabs, the Ammonites, and the Ashdodites heard that the repairs of the walls of Jerusalem were going so well, that the breaks in the wall were being fixed, they were absolutely furious. They put their heads together, and decided to fight against Jerusalem, and create as much trouble as they could. We countered with prayer to our God, and set a round-the-clock guard against them. <laughs> 